In a place far away from towns and cities, there was a village named Langshao. The people of the village were all simple farmers. They were all very passionate about hunting. The village chief, elders and men would involve in hunting to spend their leisure time and for the meat and trophies as well. The village was filled with many species of birds and animals. The villagers would often conduct hunting events as a sport and also to determine who the best hunter would be among the entire village. In the village, there was also a teacher who used to tell the villagers about the importance of preserving their environment and stop their hunting practices. However, the villagers were ignorant about preserving wildlife. But the teacher continued to teach the importance of preserving wildlife, especially to his students. Today we are going to learn about the preservation of wildlife. If we hunt and kill animals, our ecosystem will be left unbalanced. So we should not hunt and kill animals. Okay, so who is going to tell your parents about not to kill and hunt animals? Okay, what's your name? My name is Atina. Okay, so what will you tell your parents? I will tell to my parents and never not to kill and hunt animals. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, so students, when you go back home, tell your parents not to kill wild animals, okay? Yes! Okay, very good. One day, the chief of the village, Nasan, called upon a meeting. Hey, listen, everyone. Here is an announcement. Our chief, Nasan, for a meeting. Therefore, everyone is requested to gather at the village hall now. Huh? Chief Nasan is calling us? I wonder why he's calling us in such a hurry, early in the morning. Come, let's go. Yes, let's go and hear what he has to say. Come, come, let's go and hear what he has to say. Okay, let's go. There shall be a month long hunting, a month long, as our festival is nearing too. And also, we shall select the best hunter like we always do. So I wish you all good luck in your hunting. May you hunt as many animals as possible. Wait this! Huh? Who is that? Whose voice is that? Hey little girl, come here. What is your name? Why are you here and what do you wish to speak? My name is Atina. I am here to replace you. Oh, Chief, not to kill and hunt the animal. But why? Because my school teacher taught us in the school that killing animals destroy the food chain and our ecosystem is left unbalanced. What nonsense! Stay out of adult stock. And you shouldn't even be here. No, Chief, please let my teacher explain. Ah, uh, all right. Go and call your teacher. Let's hear what she has to say. Okay. You have taught us in the school about not to kill and hunt the animals. Yes, Chief. Atina is right. All living beings depend on each other as a food chain. And if we continue to hunt and kill animals, at this rate there will be none left. The ecosystem will be disturbed and we'll all have to suffer for it. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's nonsense. Don't worry, none of that will happen. Hey, little girl, you are still young. You shouldn't be here. Go, go to school. Yes, go, go. And stay out of adult stock. Hey, little girl. You are still young. You have many more things to learn. This is a matter you wouldn't understand. So you go to school. And you, teacher. This is not a classroom or a school. This is about the entire village we are talking here. This tradition has been passed down from our ancestors. And we shall not stop it. The hunting starts today. <laughs> A 
and soon the great hunting began. Villagers hunted down every animals and birds they could see. And finally, when the great festival arrived, they had a great feast and the villagers celebrated merrily with the meat of the animals they had hunted down. singing and listen like every other years I will now declare the best hunter everyone hunted and performed well but as usual the best hunter for this year was to Yangzhou but chief I've killed more animals in Yangzhou see here why is he awarded the best hunter hey just no just look at mine I killed the biggest in size there's no fear. Enough, both of you. I have made my decision, and it is final. The best hunter for this year goes to Yanzo. And Yanzo, here is your reward. After the great festival came to an end, the villagers of Langshao returned to their normal lives and began to engage in their own fields and works and forgot all about the feast and the great numbers of animals they had killed for the feast. As some years passed by, they slowly began to notice the utter silence around the village. Hey friends! Have you noticed the utter silence around the village these past few years? Oh, I can hear a single chirping of singing of the birds. And I can't even hear or see any animals either. This is really weird. Harvest season is here. And my crops are overridden with pests and rodents. I don't know what to do. Even me. My crops have been all eaten up by mice. There is nothing left to eat. Well, what will my family eat? What is happening to this village? And it's getting even worse. There are snakes littering around the village too. I wonder where are they all coming from? I think some pests have befallen on our village. I don't want to stay here any longer. My husband and I are thinking of leaving this village for good. Yes, you are right. If this continues sooner or later, we have to leave this village. Oh, let's not be too hasty in our decision. We should not leave our native place, no matter what. Yes, she's right. Instead, we should search for some solution. Let's stop with the hands up and do something about this. Yes, yes, she's right. We should first approach our chief. And soon, there were no animals left in the village of Langshao, and the ones that escaped the great hunting fell to the brink of extinction. The villagers wondered where all the birds and animals had gone, and wondered what they looked like. Wow, wow. so many animals. Yes. Yeah. Wow, wow, that's so beautiful. Yeah. Have you seen this in our village? Mm. You? No. Yeah. Nita, I've never seen this in our village. Come, let's go and ask father. Yes, yes. Come. Oh, 
This animal. Yes. This one is there and this one is there. Do we have this animal left? There were lots years back. But we no longer see them now. Why, Apo? What is that? Hey, can't you see I'm busy working here? Go, go and ask your mother. Ajo, Ajo. Oh. Do we have these animals in our village? Yeah, which one? This one. Oh, these animals? Yes. Oh, we used to have all these animals and beautiful birds in our jungle. Mm -hmm. But you know, our villagers have hunted all these birds and animals years back. Mm -hmm. and so, mm -hmm. yes, and so we don't have them here anymore. Come, I'll show you. Yes, and yes, please show us. Can you see this? Yes. 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 This is the claws of eagle. The eagle is a beautiful bird. Oh. See, Ajo, what about this one? This is a monkey skull. Oh. Ajo, what about that? Oh, that one. Yes. Oh, that is the stag angler. The stag is a big animal. Yes. And can you see this? Yes. yes. That is the deer angler. These are the only things we have now. You should not kill all these anymore, right, Ajo? Yes, mm. they should not. Oh no, Apro, how could you kill such beautiful and innocent creatures? Oh, Chief, not to kill and hunt the animal. Chief Nasan, we have made a big mistake by hunting down all the animals. We should have listened to Atsina. <sighs> Atina was right. We should have listened to her. I'm thinking of calling the entire villagers and start preserving the wildlife. That's a good idea. We should start preserving our wildlife. Yes, because we don't have any animals left in our village. What will we tell our future generations? That is why I'm thinking of preserving our wildlife. Yeah. My fellow villagers, uh, I have finally come to a realization that Atina was right. We have done a terrible mistake by hunting and cleaned out all the animals. And I'm sure by now we have all faced the results and consequences of our actions. So I have decided that we should preserve our wildlife. Yes, Chief, you are right. We should start preserving our wildlife. Yes. If that is the case, I should happily help in preserving the wildlife in any ways I can. Yes, we will too. I miss the sweet singing and chirping of the birds. Tell us, O Chief, what must we do to preserve our wildlife? First of all, let us all keep away our weapons, tools, traps, and all other equipments for a change. Chief, here is our weapons and tools. What must we do next to protect it? Well, I haven't figured out that part yet. So, if anyone of you has any ideas or suggestions, please speak up. We are all in need of it. May I give a suggestion? Oh, yes, Atina, come, come. Please speak up. We are all open to your suggestions. I still remember when I was nine years old, I was on my way to school. I came across our villagers discussing to go for hunting. So I shared what my teacher told us in school, that killing animals destroys the food chain and our ecosystem is left unbalanced. But you all mocked at me and told me to stay out of adult stock. So with no option, I left. Yes, girl. I still remember what you have said. You are right. We should have listened to you. Forgive us for our mistakes. It's alright, we can still work on it. It is not too late. I learned from school that in order to have a rich wildlife, we must first make the place and environment suitable for the animals to breed mm -hmm. and ensure their safety. Isn't it, teacher? Yes, Chief. Atina is right. It is important for us to ensure their safety 
seeds from poachers so that our ecosystem remain valid. Stern punishment should be given to the poachers if they are caught. Well, that's a very good solution. But Jeep, since we have hunted them down, how can we protect it? We don't even have animals in our village. Uh, well, if that is the case, I will go and talk to the chief of other villages and request them to donate us some animals so that we can put the plan to work. Yes. The villagers decided and resolved to preserve their wildlife, protect forest, and started making the place suitable for the animals to breed. The news about the preservation of wildlife and protection of forest spread to the neighboring villages and slowly across the country and started attracting people and tourists. The villagers of Langshao never felt so proud when they received their first tourist. Wow, this is Langshao village. It's beautiful. Yes, it is. It's worth visiting. Yes, it is. Wow, this is nature in its purest form. I've been to many places and jungles, but none like here. Was it always like this? No, there is a long story behind the creation of this beautiful place. Is it? Yes. Sounds interesting. Can you please tell us how it all started? Sure. We would love to tell you about it. Back then, our men folk, they loved hunting. You know, hunting was a tradition for us. Really? Yes. So they hunt for sport, food, and as a hobby too. Not realizing the consequences we were causing. We faced a difficult time. Really? What are the difficulties that you faced? See, our crops were destroyed by rotten and theft. Okay. And we couldn't hear birds chirping and singing like we did in the past. And you know, when our menfolk went for hunting, they couldn't see or hear any birds and animals and our surroundings were filled with snacks, sleep turning around. Life was difficult to live in this village. Some people also left the village. Yes. Really? Yes. But lucky for us, Atina came to our rescue. Mm, and who is Atina? Well, Atina, she is a schoolgirl from this village. Okay. When she was nine years old, she told us the value of preserving and protecting our wildlife and forests and how hunting down of animals and birds affects our life. Yes. This is why Chief Nangsheng and the entire village try to preserve wildlife in different ways. Yes. Oh, what a great girl Atina is. Such privilege should be awarded by the villagers. Yes, actually we are having an acknowledgement program for that. Yes, so why don't you guys come and be our guest? Really? Yes. It will be an honor for us. We will surely join you guys. Yes, we will love to join and meet Atina Israel. Yes, please, this way. The village of Langshao felt that they could reach up to that only because of Atina. So one day, they gathered at the village hall to acknowledge Atina for her bravery. Hello villagers! We have all learned and faced the result and consequences of hunting down all the animals. Let us continue this good work, not just for ourselves, but also for our future generations. And I would also like to welcome our guest, the tourist, for joining us on this auspicious day. It is all because of Atina we are all gathered here today. She had the courage to stand up and speak the truth. Whatever we have achieved so far, it is all because of Atina. So, as a token of appreciation, I would like to reward her. Atina, please come and receive this reward. 